Good morning and welcome. Our opening hymn is hymn number 395 in the glory and praise. Glory and praise, 395. <clears throat> I danced in the morning when the world was begun and I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun and I came down from heaven and I danced on the earth at Bethlehem I had my birth dance then wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance said he and I'll lead you all Wherever you may be, and I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. I danced for the scribe and the Pharisee, but they would not dance and they wouldn't follow me. I danced for the fishermen, for James and John, in with me, and the dance went on. Dance then, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all. Wherever you may be, and I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. I danced on the Sabbath, and I cured the lame. The holy people said it was a shame. They whipped and they stripped and they hung me on high and they left me there on a cross to die. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all wherever you may be and I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. Good morning and welcome. It is the uh, solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. There is a Gloria today, and there is a creed at Mass, as well as uh, Sunday readings, like three different readings. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. We remember in our prayers, Edward Klimusko and Peter Kelly, and the priests who are on retreat. Let us call to mind our sins. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who glory in the heart of your beloved Son 
and recall the wonders of his love for us may be made worthy to receive an overflowing measure of grace from that fount of heavenly gifts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Hear the Lord, <clears throat> excuse me, hear the word of the Lord, O people. When Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. The more I called him, the more they went from me. And it was I who taught Ephraim to walk. I took them up in my arms, but they did not know that I healed them. I led them with cords of human kindness, with bands of love. I was to them like those who lift an infant to the cheek. I bent down to them and fed them. How can I give you up, Ephraim? How can I hand over you, O Israel? My heart recoils within me. My compassion grows warm and tender. I will not execute my fierce anger. I will, never, I will not again destroy Ephraim. For I am God and not a human being. The Holy One is in your midst and I will not come in wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my might. He has come my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known in all the earth. Shout aloud and sing for joy, O royal Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Our second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Although I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to me to bring to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ, and to make everyone see what is the plan of the mystery hidden for all ages in God who created all things so that through the Church the wisdom of God in its rich variety might now be known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was in accordance with the eternal purpose that he has carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have access to God, in boldness and confidence through faith in him. For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, for whom every family in heaven and on earth takes his name. I pray that according to the riches of his glory, God may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner self with power through his Spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. As you are being rooted and grounded in love, I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the height and depth, and to know that the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so you may be filled with all the fullness of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. 
God first loved us and sent his Son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. It was the day of preparation. The Jews did not want the bodies left on the cross during the Sabbath, especially because that Sabbath was a day of great solemnity. So they asked Pilate to have the legs of the crucified men broken and the bodies removed. Then the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first, and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead. They did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once blood and water came out. He who saw this has testified so that you may also believe. His testimony is true. He knows that he tells the truth. These things occurred so that the scripture might be fulfilled. None of his bones shall be broken. And again, another passage of scripture says, they will look on the one whom they have pierced. The Gospel of the Lord. Have you ever desired someone to be your friend and every outreach that you make to them, they either cut off your hands or they walk away and you're left sort of holding a bag wondering, okay, what did I do? Has that ever happened to you? Where you're trying to make friends with someone and they want nothing to do with you? And you kind of sit back sometimes and you say to yourself, what have I done wrong? Well, in that first reading it, uh, from the prophet Hosea, Hosea is saying to the Israeli people, God has done everything to tell you how much he loves you. He's taken you out of a foreign land. He's brought you here, and he's given everything he can, and all you do is you turn your back on him. Did you pick that up in the first reading as you were listening? So, question for you, what more could God have done for Israel? It's a good question, isn't it? And then we sort of listen a little bit longer, and Paul speaks to us next. And what does Paul say to us? It's through the grace of Jesus that I'm able to do this. And it is through the grace of Jesus that I'm here today. It's through the grace of Jesus that you're here today. So God really loves us. Do we ever turn our back on God? Here's, here's God reaching out to you. Here's God saying to you, I really love you. Do we ever turn our back on God? That's why we have confession in the church is to come back and say to God how much we love God and want to be with God. And then the ultimate thing that we are reminded of today is how much God loves us by even giving his son, his only son, to be our savior. And as we were singing uh, the opening hymn this morning, we were brought to where they brought Jesus to a cross. God sent his son into the world that we might have joy. And what did we do to him? 
we robbed him of any joy that he could have by the way we treated him and put him to a cross. But we'll finish that hymn today. And as we finish that hymn, we will hear, God didn't say, that's it, I'm washing my hands of you. But what God said is, I'm going to raise him to life. He raised Jesus to life and has given us new life as a result. Water and blood. Jesus shed his blood, but through the shedding of his blood and through the gift of baptism, we are ensured of eternal life. So as we come before God today, some things that we might want to think about. Are there people that really have sort of been at a distance from us and there's nothing you can do about it? Quietly talk to God about that. God, you had to endure that for me at times. There are times I've turned my back on you. And God, as these people do that to me, let me know, let me understand how you felt when that happened to you when I did it. It's a beautiful way of meditating upon our relationship with God. And if you're in a really good relationship with everybody and everybody loves you, then thank God for that gift. Because we as Christians really love God and want to be with God. So today is a really wonderful day to stop and think of the love of God for us, his creation, and also of our love for others because God has loved us. Together, let us say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our God is a loving God. Our God is a compassionate and merciful God. Let us offer our prayers to him, trusting that he knows what we need and answers our prayers. For the Church, may the Holy Spirit continue to inspire the hearts of the faithful with the spirit of evangelism and missionary zeal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For peace in our world, especially in Israel, Gaza, Ukraine, Russia, Africa, other areas where there is strife. May the Lord bring about an end to the conflict and the violence and bring in reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For children who have been abandoned or orphaned, May Christ shower his love upon them and lead them to loving surroundings. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here at this time, may the grace of the Eucharist help us in becoming more understanding and forgiving toward one another. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, for Edward Klemusko, for Peter Kelly, for all who have no one to pray for them. May our Savior turn his merciful gaze upon them and grant them a place at his eternal banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. For our priests who have been on retreat this past week, 
that the Lord may inspire them, fill them with his spirit, that they may preach God's love, mercy, and compassion to all of us. We pray to the Lord. For your own special intentions today. Gracious Lord, hear our prayers and answer them in accordance with your divine will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, we pray, on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation of our offenses through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that, won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. So with all the angelic 
Excuse me. So with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which you offer firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, Gerard, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. We remember the living. Remember all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and bless Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, Graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands and once more giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the for, for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. <coughs> Remember also, Lord, your servants, Edward Klimusko, Peter Kelly, and all who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, with we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Amen. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, grant us peace. There are people who are watching virtually, and so we say a spiritual communion so that they may receive Jesus in a special way into their heart. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that, drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. The closing hymn is hymn number 395, last two verses. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by the way you live your life. I danced on a Friday when the sky turned black. It's hard to dance with the devil on your back. They buried my body and they... But I am the life and I still go on. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all. Wherever you may be, and I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. They cut me down, and I leapt up high. I am the life that'll never, never die. I'll live in you if you'll live in me. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. Dance then, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all wherever you may be, and I'll lead you all in the dance, said he.